I was driving back from Marin County, and again, I'd, I'd been like a spirituality retreat, you know, you know, <laughs> so, you know, like not something that my community and people I was dealing with was really in interested in. And I was driving back over the bridge, and I'm thinking, I'm going back to Oakland, you know, I'm going back to pollution, cancer clusters, and I just had this this thing in my mind, and I just said, you know, we need green jobs, not jails. Those four words, four syllables, have just totally turned my life around because, you know, that's, that's what I'm about. Grid Alternatives is like the habitat for humanity of the solar industry. They are trying to get solar panels up in, you know, low-income communities, people who need them. We do the installation for free, and then the homeowners finance a portion of the equipment cost with a low-interest loan that they get from the city. I want to make sure the wind don't blow my money off the roof. So we won't put it in unless from day one they're going to have savings. If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Right? Yeah, <laughs> so you gotta, that's right. Grid Alternatives, they're making sure that the low-income people who need the solar panels can get the solar panels, and then Solar Richmond makes sure that disadvantaged people get trained to do the work. So it's a two for one. So uh, how long like, have you been a part of this program? Uh, this will be my 10th week. 10th week? Is, is it good? It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, really? Why you say that? Because, you know, it's a lot of, lot, of, lot of stuff that's going around. Just negative? Yeah, negative stuff. A lot of times, you know, these guys, you know, they're on probation, they're on parole. You know, the probation officer just, you know, assumes the worst about them. And then when they see them blossoming, and doing something positive. Even they were getting choked up. This is more of a way to branch out, you know, get ahead, get a job, you know, provide for your family. See, a lot of times when people look at urban communities, what they see is deficits. They see what's not there. And when I look, all I see is assets. I see, you know, entrepreneurs, you know, visionaries, geniuses, hustlers, you know, and that's what we need right now, some visionary genius hustlers. <laughs> and now I could be the owner of my own company and like, you know, four or five years, six years. You know, just by starting at the bottom, you gotta start somewhere to build up to the top. So if you wanna have a green economy, it's gotta be about reclaiming stuff. It's also gonna be about reclaiming people, reclaiming neighborhoods. That's the green economy.